On the surface, these paintings are pleasant depictions of rural life, scenic panoramas of the countryside, but really nothing we haven't already seen before. The remarkable element of these paintings, however, is not in their subject matter, but in the material on which they're painted. Each of these pictures has been rendered not on canvas, but on an ordinary mesh window screen. Now, more than just a novelty or hobby, these unique screens have become part of the cultural art of the city of Baltimore, Maryland, thanks to one family. Albert Octavec is currently carrying on this 70-year tradition, one that requires a special technique. Uh, actually, I find canvas painting easier. But on a screen, it's a little harder to do than that because you're actually painting on holes. So it is, it is a little harder on wire. However difficult the process, Albert has mastered it without ever having gone to art school. He first spreads a base coat of white or black exterior paint on a wire mesh window screen, and then he creates the design. This can be copied from a photograph or drawing, or from a client's detailed description. Albert himself has only been painting screens for three years. But his father, William, began this unusual art form in 1913. Today, a dozen artists are perpetuating screen painting here, including John Octave, Albert's 18-year-old nephew. The screens add a patch of beauty to the cement, wood, and brick houses of this city. They give privacy from the outside, but still allow visibility from the inside. What started as a decorative window shade for a bashful housewife years ago has today finally become recognized by the city of Baltimore as a valued source of civic pride, as this gallery showing of the Octavex works demonstrates. New screens can be purchased for about $30 but one of William Octavec's originals is worth at least 10 times that amount. Pastoral masterpieces in the heart of an industrial city. The painted screens of Baltimore, Maryland, because you asked for it. <laughs>